Why do planes need to refuel mid-air like this? When they could just fuel up before takeoff. And how do they even do it? Flying at over 500 miles per hour. Let's break down the incredible world of plane refueling, both on the ground and in the sky. Before every flight, fueling is one of the most critical steps. Most airports use either fuel trucks or underground hydrant systems to deliver jet A. One fuel directly to the aircraft's tanks, usually in the wings. Larger planes like the Boeing 777 can carry over 180,000 liters of fuel, and it can take 30 to 60 minutes to fill them up. But it's not just about filling the tank. Pilots calculate how much they'll need for taxiing, cruising, weather detours, and even emergencies. Too much fuel, and the plane's too heavy. Too little, and, well, let's not go there. Now, for missions that go way beyond any runway, there's aerial refueling. This is where two aircraft, a tanker and a receiver, meet in midair and pass fuel between them without landing. There are two main systems. The flying boom, controlled by a boom operator using a joystick. The probe in drogue, where the receiving aircraft connects a nozzle into a funnel-like drogue. Planes like the F-35 or AWACS can double or triple their range using this system. Some even stay airborne for 12 plus hours. Tankers like the KC-135 can carry over 200,000 pounds of fuel and refuel several jets in one flight, at high altitude, in turbulence, and sometimes at night. Even on the ground, refueling is tightly managed. Crews monitor pressure, volume, and temperature because fuel expands in heat and shrinks in cold. And any error, even a small one, could lead to delays or safety issues. From commercial flights to combat missions, refueling is the lifeline of aviation, keeping planes flying farther, faster, and safer. Next time you fly, remember, that quiet operation under the wing or in the skies above might just be the reason you reach your destination. Thanks for watching. If you like this behind the scenes look, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out our other aviation breakdowns. See you in the next one.